Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get these four different half up hairstyles. This video is in partnership with Ulta Beauty and I'm going to start off by showing you the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil, which is heat and UV protective. You can get it at Ulta Beauty in stores and online, but you can use the product in damp hair or dry hair. I'm going to be using it dry today. This product is for dry to very dry hair, which I have since I highlight my hair. I'm first sectioning my hair, spraying it, combing it through, and then styling it as normal. Since it's heat protective, it's going to protect my hair when I curl it. With each new section, I'm spraying it and combing it through to make sure that the oil is getting all throughout my hair. I like curling all of my hair away from my face, and I'm kind of just twisting the curls right after they get out of the iron. I feel like that just helps form the curl and makes the curls last a little bit longer. And then on top, I kind of just unravel the iron like that. I like flipping my head upside down, shaking out the curls. I like them to be loose. I'm actually going to add in extensions. These are my exact same hair length. It just helps add a little bit of thickness, but extensions are totally optional. I do these styles all the time without them. Just kind of brushing it out so it blends together with my hair. I like to start off the hairstyle with a little bit of volume on top, so I'm just teasing it slightly, hairspraying it, and just combing it through so it's a little bit softer. This will help create a base of volume for all the hairstyles. For this first style, it's honestly so easy, but I saw my sister do this to her hair and I thought it was so adorable. I've been wearing my hair like this all the time. I'm just taking little bits of hair and just pinning it back. It's so easy, but I just think it's so pretty. Then I'm taking my clear eyebrow gel and smoothing down those crazy baby hairs. For the second style, I do this all the time, especially when my bangs just are being weird and aren't working with me. This is perfect for that. So I'm taking a tiny, tiny section, splitting it into three, and I'm going to do a Dutch lace braid. So I'll be braiding the outside pieces under the middle, and I'm only going to be adding in hair from the very front section. So I'll add hair to the front, cross it under the middle, cross the back under the middle without adding in hair, add hair to the front, Cross it under the middle. Just adding hair to the front. I'm just making sure my hands are going backwards so it lays flat. Once I reach about my eyebrows, I stop adding in hair and just braid all the way down. And then repeat on the opposite side. I have so many tiny baby hairs from having my babies, so I always kind of brush those back with clear eyebrow gel. Now I'm taking my first braid, stretching it across the back, and my trick is to stick a bobby pin in the braid, then pushing the bobby pin towards the braid. That is always super secure for me, so I just do the same on the other side, push it going towards the braid, and that's it for style number two. Style number three, it's a really soft braid. So this one we're gonna be pulling apart and making it look all big and voluminous. So I'm taking a little bit bigger section at my part, splitting it into three, and I'm gonna do a Dutch braid. I'm going to be adding pieces to the top and bottom, crossing them under the middle, making sure my hands are going back with my hair so the braid lays nicely when I pin it. Once the braid reaches just behind my ear, I stop adding in hair and braid it all the way down. I stick a bobby pin in the end to hold it, and then do the exact same thing on the opposite side. This is where the braid looks really pretty is when it gets pulled apart. So I'm pulling it apart just on the very outer edges. I just drape it across the back. I'm doing the same bobby pinning it towards the braid 
and then I do two bobby pins to make sure it's secure. Put that braid just right below the other one. And then I'm just kind of combining the two braids so it looks like one big one. Now once they're secure, I'm pulling on the top to give myself more volume. Just fluff out the braids even more. Take out those bobby pins and here is style number three. Style number four is this little ponytail. I sometimes will take all of my hair in front like this. Today I'm going to take just the top section. I'm tying it with a clear elastic. Then taking a tiny piece from the back, wrapping it around and bobby pinning it underneath. Smoothing those baby hairs down. Spraying it with hairspray. And here is the final style. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And I will see you on the next one.